In this video, we're going to use a list in the Beatrix24 cloud service to accept leave requests from employees and create a business process for approval of those leave requests. So looking at our company structure, we want any employee to have his or her supervisor approve the leave and then to have the HR department process it for final approval. To do this, we will incorporate several tools that Beatrix24 offers. Lists, workgroups, business processes, the absence chart, and several others. Lists, which are structured data records, are available only in the professional plan of the Beatrix24 cloud service and the self-hosted version of Beatrix24. I'll make a workgroup called Human Resources and I'll make it public, meaning that any user can open up the group, click a button, and be a member of that group. No invitation required. This way, all documents, discussions, and things that concern HR services, including leave requests, will be collected in a single place, automatically available to everyone. So here is the Human Resources group. I name the list and I'll change the titles so that the word request appears instead of element. Notice the access permissions for this list. I'm giving the add level of permissions for group members, not view, because I do not want regular users to see the leave requests of their colleagues. I have my HR people as moderators in the group with edit permission. Now I'm ready to start adding fields to the list. To add a field, give it a name and a data type. A good example of making a field is the leave type field. When I select the list data type, a second tab appears where I can enter the various types of absences that correspond to those in the absence chart and here I can assign the default value. Let's look at another field, attachments. There might be documents or scans of documents that need to be submitted along with the request. So I have made this field a file type and I make it multiple so that any number of files can be added to the request. Here is my final list of fields with their field types. Now I'll go back to the list page and open the business process tab. I can have the wizard create the standard business process templates. I do recommend doing that because they could be useful at some point, but here I'm just going to create the one process that we need. I'll name my new business process template Approve Leave Requests and set it to run whenever there is a new item created in the list, that is, a new leave request. I have a file containing the business process template that I need, and I'm going to import that into the designer here. So now I have the full flow chart imported. Basically, the workflow consists of two approval steps, several notification blocks, and an entry into the absence chart. Let's take a look at the first block, which is a select employee block. I can select the immediate supervisor of the employee requesting the leave using this block. This block does not perform an action. It only serves to make the supervisor available via the builder. The first approval is for the supervisor. You see the expression here that indicates the supervisor. I took this from the builder. Once that approval is given, I want to send a message to the original requester and move the request itself to the HR department. Assuming all is well, an absence chart entry will be created after HR approval using the start and end dates from the original request. So now let's take a test drive. Here we have a regular user who is in the HR group in the list section. He opens the list, fills in the fields, and saves the request. 
Note that back in the list, the user cannot see the request that he just made. He only has the add permission, not view permission. Danny White is the supervisor. We see a message to him. Over in the workflow, the approval assignment is waiting for him. He can view the request if he wants and then approve it. The business process log shows everything that has happened and what is next. Mark Zappin is the HR person. He can see all the requests in the list, including this new one. There is a message waiting for him as well, and he approves the request. Now let's see what happened with the user who requested the leave. We see two messages concerning the stages of approvals, and if we go to the absence chart, we see that the absence has been put in.